This I've heard many times in my counseling sessions. People come to me and they start to vent and complain. Why Allah is doing this? Why I have prayed to Allah five years and he did not respond to me. Why is he doing this? Is, is this appropriate to, to talk about Allah? Why is he doing this? If someone was addressed like this or addressed a king or someone of influence, he will crush him on the spot. How about Allah when you speak about him like this? When Allah deprive you from what you had asked him, he did not deprive you because he's poor. Allah owns everything in this universe. And when he deprives you, he did not deprive you because he's stingy. Allah is the most generous. Look at billionaires, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and the likes. They have billions and billions. Who gave it to them? Their intellect, their power, Allah. And Allah can strip them from it in a heartbeat. So when Allah deprives you of something, Wallahi, and I'm swearing, he did this for your goodness. In this life and the hereafter. But the problem is that you refuse to concede and believe. And this means that you have failed your test.